Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at how to scan some weights. So if we go to the app and press on it to run, and we must make sure we're synchronized, so press on synchronize first. Just say OK, and as long as you're connected to the internet, then it will synchronize and you get the two messages database updated, and then the second one loaded data entry lists and then the home screen will compile and you're ready to go outside so once outside and you're ready to weigh go down and press on weigh and everything's ready so the weigher is connected to the load bars So we just need to make sure that it's powered on. So it'll show 0.0, .0 if it's correctly connected to the load bars. So if they're true test load bars, then that will display immediately. If they're not true test load bars, then you may need to go into Menu, Settings, and you'll see uh, a setup item there to select the correct load bars for your weight crate, so Galaha or whatever. OK, so we're now ready and we're just going to power on the, the Bluetooth stick reader. We have to do that before we tap on start reading tags. So this puts the app into tag reading mode. and we should get a message uh, on screen to say that you're ready to start scanning tags so I'm just going to simulate a weight going onto the load bars so we've got to wait for the stable light a uh, stable weight indicator light to come on so there we are that comes on and I can now scan the tag and the first weight will come in so I'm just going to simulate another weight now. So the light comes back on, on the easy way, to indicate a stable weight has been achieved. And at that point we scan the tag. You might just be able to hear in the background that the phone actually vibrates as well to tell you when the weight and the ID has been loaded into the grid. So we'll just do a few more. As you can see, the list or it adds to the list at the top so you've got the most recent scanned weight at the top I'll just simulate another weight there lights off, light comes on when the next animal's in the crate and scan. Okay just on the right hand side of the screen you'll see that as well as the current weight of the animal you've got the last weight, recorded weight if there is one, that's come down when you've synchronized your app and also it will calculate a daily live weight gain and then the last column is simply a, a checkbox which allows you to indicate whether you're actually going to mark these animals for move. Marking them for move is just a way of identifying them um, so that when you synchronize the beta data back onto your Farm Wizard account you'll be able to bring up that list and then convert it into a full move to update the flock register if in fact those animals have left the holding. Okay, so when we've finished the weighing session, we just press the volume down button on the phone. And as you can hear, the true test gives a beep. There is a little indicator, a little triangle on the screen at the top right hand corner next to the Bluetooth icon there. So that will be on while you are you're scanning and weighing and then disappear uh, when you press the volume down on your Android phone.
Okay, so we get one message. So press OK to record the events. And then there'll be a second message to tell you that the weights have been recorded and they'll be transferred the next time you synchronize. So I'll just tap OK. So we're now done on this screen, so I can use the back button. Always use the back button from the data entry screens rather than the back button, the physical back button on your phone to make sure you stay within the app. So we're now back at the home screen. We can go to Recorded Events Management now. And if you can see at the top there, there's one batch pending. So if we just press on View Pending Events, and just scroll down a little way, you can see there's been five weights recorded. If you wanted to, you could press the the delete link there on the right hand side to remove that batch uh, if you didn't want to to synchronize it, if you wanted to to clear that all off the phone, because remember that the, the data is actually stored on the phone until you press synchronize again. So you must remember after a, a successful data entry session uh, when you get back or achieve a, a 3G connection out in the field for mobile internet or you get back uh, to the office and your phone connects to Wi-Fi you just need to press on synchronize again and so it prompt you just to confirm that you're connected to the internet and then the first message after that is all events submitted. So all of the new information that you've recorded, in this case the weights, has been sent to your Farm Wizard account in the cloud. So just say OK to that. And then the rest of the synchronization will complete.